Have you come across a situation where a patient or any other person tells you that they do not know their spectacle power? Or are you someone who is trying to figure out what power spectacle lens are you wearing? In today's video, we explore some signs that will help you in identifying the power of spectacle lens that you are wearing. Generally, the power of a spectacle lens is identified using an instrument called the lensometer. In instances where we do not have access to this instrument, there are some crude ways in which we can estimate the power of the lens we are seeing through. The first sign to observe is the size of the image formed through the lens. Minus lenses cause the image seen through the lens to be smaller than it actually is. Plus lenses magnify the image and make it larger. The extent to which the image is small or large also indicates the approximate power that the lens might have. In a minus lens, higher the power, more minified or small the image will be. In a plus lens, higher the power, more magnified or large the image will be. The ability to estimate the power of the lens in this way is gradually sharpened with experience. Another sign is the thickness or thinness of the edge of the lens. Minus lenses are concave in shape, which means they are thin at the center and thick around the edges. In a minus lens, the edge thickness increases with increase in power of the lens. Plus lenses are the opposite. That means they are thick at the center and thin around the edges. In a plus lens, the center thickness increases with increase in power of the lens. Another way of identifying the type of power that a spectacle lens has is to hold the spectacle frame in front of your eye and look at a distant object through it while moving it in the two meridians. If you observe that the object in view is moving along with the spectacle, the lens has a minus power. If the object is moving opposite to the movement of the spectacle, the lens has a plus power. In case of cylindrical lenses, there will be different movements in the two meridians. If it is a minus powered cylinder, then the image will be minified and will move in the same direction as the spectacle when moved along the meridian that has power. When it is moved in the direction of the other meridian, there is no movement because there is no power in that meridian. Another typical feature of a cylindrical lens is that when it is rotated clockwise or anti-clockwise, the image seen through it, in this case a cross, appears to move like a scissor giving us a scissor reflex. There is also a crude way of knowing whether your lenses are made up of glass or plastic material. You have to gently tap on the lenses using a metal object, usually a ring, and notice the sound it makes. Glass lenses make a high-pitched ringing sound. And plastic lenses have a more damp and low-pitched sound. This comes only through practice. Be careful and gentle while doing this. Hope the points we discussed are helpful to you. I recommend to immediately begin observing these signs in whatever spectacle you can find around you. Mm -hmm.